All right. Well, welcome back to Bronco Nation News, bronconationnews.com. Familiar face there. We're excited to catch up for a few minutes uh, on draft day. Scott Matlock joining us, obviously the former Boise State defensive tackle, local product. Uh, Scott, uh, thanks for doing this, man. How's it going? Things are going well. I feel like I need like my own microphone. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're not, it's all right. That's all right. You'll have an NFL jersey or hat to put on here shortly, so we'll, yeah. we'll call it even. But Yeah. Things are going good. It's been, uh, the, you know, this process has been kind of going by quick. I'm trying to enjoy it as much as I can, but uh, it's going by quick. And, you know, this, the week's here and, and this is the big moment. So, but, but it's been good. It's been good. Has it set in yet? I think I asked you this at pro day, but I mean, now that you're here and, you know, literally 72 hours or less hearing that phone ring and getting a call from an NFL team. I mean, has, has what's about to happen and the journey you've been on your entire life and football to, to get to this point, has it sunk in at all yet? Uh, no, uh, it hasn't. Um, it's just been such a crazy process, a fun process, you know, you know, new territory and new waters, you know, I'm exploring, um, but it's, it's been so fun and exciting. It's, I haven't really had that moment where it's kind of hit you and, you know, you're like, Oh crap kind of thing. So um, if it happens, it happens. I mean, um, I'm excited regardless. I'm, I'm happy for, you know, those who will be with me and enjoy that moment and, and whatnot. And I'm just, you know, grateful to be in this position and, you know, I'm very blessed to have these, you know, these opportunities and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, I'm excited. Are you an, excuse me, are you an emotional guy? I mean, if that phone does ring, have you thought about what, what that moment might actually be like uh, if a GM or a coach is on the other line when that phone rings? Yeah. I mean, I'm not too emotional. Um, uh, It's slightly numb to most of the world, but you know, I, uh, I guess we'll just, we'll see, you know, I've done a lot of interacting with GMs and coaches, you know, throughout this process. So um, it's nothing I'm not too familiar with. So I'm just going to, Make sure I, I, you know, say the right things and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, you're uh, you're doing this on behalf of Crave Delivery. We're going to talk about them and your draft day uh, plans with Crave Delivery, Crave CraveDelivery.com here in a few minutes. But uh, you, you, when, when did you think this? Be, when was this a reality for you, Scott? I mean, you play, you know, peewee ball, high school ball. You, you come to Boise State. You had, you know, started to get some hype. Uh, you know, when did when did you not only being an NFL player but potentially being drafted into the NFL actually be something that you said like this this could happen yeah you know throughout high school it was more so about just following in my brother's footsteps you know he's five years older than me and you know I, I looked up to him for like everything you know growing up I always copied his you know what he the clothes he wore or how he acted how he talked and everything so I always wanted to follow in his footsteps um and you know football was an outlet for me and you know I was passionate about sports you know I played other sports as well so yeah, I mean, I you know was able, you know, I had a you know it was a dream come true to be able to go to Boise State and 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 play there and get a degree and you know five years went by pretty quick, but I mean I would say my you know my junior senior year was definitely kind of I had had that thought of like that could be you know a possibility and and um, you know now it's kind of come becoming a reality. So um, I would say you know it, it not too long ago is when these thoughts kind of started and. I knew it could be, you know, this could happen and this and that. But at the end of the day, I mean, I just did everything that I I have done to get me to this point and nothing has to change. So um, I'm just grateful for for this ride I've been on. It's not it's not over yet. I mean, it's uh, we're we're just getting started. So I'm very grateful for all the things that I've you know been blessed with from friends and family opportunities. So um, I'm just trying to make make the most of it. Well, I know in the media, sometimes we state stuff on social media that players don't like or stuff comes out and there's whatever. So I'm sure I'm sure it wasn't always perfect, Scott, with your thoughts about uh, stuff we've written or whatever. But I got to say, man, I know you since Homedale High School and going back and just seeing where you've where you've come man. Uh, just on a personal level. It's awesome for me. And I'm I'm happy that you've uh, gotten to this point. And I really do appreciate you you doing this. And I know most people know. Your, your story, obviously, and, and I know you get asked about it a lot, but I think on draft weekend, uh, when you just think about your your life story and how you've gotten to this point and, you know, losing both your parents at a young age, I mean, a lot of people would have never, never, uh, they would have given in, man, and, and, and not not turn their life into something positive like this. So I first say 
congratulations, man. And it's awesome on a personal level to see the last five, six years where you've become. But how how did you get to this point, man? Like I said, some people, you know, they, they have to go live with a foster family. It wouldn't a lot of times I don't think it works out the way it's worked out for you, man. How, how did you uh, stay focused and, and, and get on stay on track and and get your college degree and get to this point where you're about to get paid to play the game you love? Yeah, you know, firstly, thank you for for saying that. You know, it means a lot. I mean, I definitely remember you uh, in high school at the – what was that? Um, you were the uh, inspirational moment. award winner yeah. at the Idaho Press Awards, yeah. and we surprised you with Chad uh, – yeah. I don't even remember how to pronounce his last name. He was only here for a year, oh, but yeah. uh, Coach, Coach Chad, uh, yeah, 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 he uh, he came and presented the award to you, and that was like 2016, 17, something like that. And then you were going to gray shirt, and then the spot opened up, and you came in, and it, uh, yeah, man, it's. Uh, I remember coming into the office there and doing the interview with you and the photo shoot, and uh, now you're going to have an NFL jersey on for a photo shoot in a couple of days. It's pretty cool, man. But I, like I said, how, how how'd you make it happen? Yeah. Well, firstly, thank you, but um, you know, I didn't do it alone. Um, you know, obviously I, you know, I kept my head on straight, but I had a lot of people who loved and cared about me and still do who helped me along the journey, guided me on the right path, you know, who were always there to lend a helping hand. I mean, I, I mean, there's too many people to, you know, to name from not just, you know, my adoptive family, um, out in Homedale, but you know, the two other families I stayed before them, but, I mean, there's so many people from coaches to teachers, you know, principals, uh, you know, coaches throughout. I mean, it's just there's the list is is endless. So I've had so many, so many people in, in my life who didn't hesitate to help, didn't hesitate to to reach out. Um, I mean, obviously, I had to do a little bit myself, but I firmly believe that without those close people in my life, you know, my brother and and all those other people, I mean, I wouldn't be here today on this on this call right now but um you know everything happens for a reason um for why why we don't know but one day you know we all find out why things happen so uh but i'm just you know trying to make the most of it you know trust in the you know trust in the process and i trust in the man above you know that he has a plan for me and and um but yeah i mean it's 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 been a long road i've had a lot of people helping me Scott, I don't know if I don't know if you feel this way, but from the outside looking in, it seems like your draft stock at times has been low, at times has been high. It's kind of been a it's been interesting to to uh, just kind of follow your draft stock. I think during the season, going into the last season, everyone was like, "Oh, for sure, this guy, you know, is a can't miss guy." And then as the season goes on, and then you don't get picked to the combine, which I think kind of had some people maybe. Uh, a little disappointed. Well, obviously everybody in Boise was disappointed, but then maybe at that point, I don't know if cooled is the right word, but uh, maybe your stock cooled a little bit, but then we see you obviously do so well at the pro day with the 29 reps and what you did at the all-star games, going to two of them um, and, and all the numbers you put up. And then you end up going to five visits uh, with NFL teams. And I want to ask you about that, but it seems like now your, your stock is maybe as high as it's ever been. Now uh, we see Todd McShay have you number 10 defensive tackle in the entire draft class going into the draft. I mean, uh, uh, what's it been like for you? Just trying the ups and downs. And, um, you know, if you were paying attention to any of the mock drafts or things during your senior season or, or all that, and, and how do you feel you, you sit, you know, here we are on draft day. Yeah. You know, I definitely don't, uh, pay attention to those things as, you know, maybe you would, cause that's like your job. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just doing every, everything I can to give myself the best opportunity, uh, you know, to make the most of it, you know? So, I mean, yeah, like I had a good junior year, you know, had some, some nice stats and had some production senior year, um, kind of fell off a bit. Um, I mean, why was that? Why was that? Was it the scheme? Was it just guys putting defenses, putting more or offenses, putting more attention on you? Or uh, what do you think the sack numbers and some of that did dip a little? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I definitely, you know, think that I got a lot of, got more attention from other teams, but I don't blame, you know, I don't put it on that. I had a plethora. Um, I can name you four sacks that I, that I missed right now off the top of my head. So, I mean, there was plenty of opportunities um, there. So, um, no one to blame but myself. Um, but it was still a successful season. I still think it was a, a good season. You know, led the team. It was a good year. Won, a, won our bowl game. But um, regardless, you know, did did the best I could and, you know, helped, uh, helped our team the most I could. And, you know, now we just kind of moved into that draft process and, you know, declaring and 
Um, you know, started the combine training, didn't end up, did not go to the combine, which isn't a big deal. That's not the whole goal, right? Like it's not, mm. um, obviously it's something that people want to do and, and it's, it's a cool experience to say you can go and, you know, do all that kind of stuff and interact with GMs, head coaches and stuff. It's awesome. You know, have that exposure, but it's obviously not the end goal. So, um, just gave me more time to train, more time to, you know, work on all the stuff for my pro day and pro day came around. Well, I guess I skipped the two bowl games, but, uh, had the two bowl games and those were good. Uh, just did, just did the best I could and played the football I know how to play. And, you know, pro day came around, killed that. And, you know, now it's been on to this, you know, this next process of, you know, the, the visits and, you know, training and you know, all the time. So, uh, but it's been good. It's been a fun experience. Um, nothing like I expected, but, uh, that's in a good way. We saw one of the all-star games built a video clip on Twitter of like Bill Belichick working with you or talking to you. Uh, and then obviously you end up taking the visit to the Patriots. You also visited the Chargers, Jets, Jaguars, and Bengals, I believe. Um, what, um, what was, what was that process like the visits and, and how big of a deal was that for you to get five of those? And they can only bring in a certain number of players. So obviously if they're bringing you in, that means they're very interested in getting to know you better and, and learn about you. And what was it like getting to uh, travel around and, and go see some of those, you know, the, the five teams you did? Yeah, that was a super, super cool process. And I had a blast, you know, traveling across the country and seeing different cities, you know, like on the East Coast, I've never been. So um, it was a cool process, you know, be able to go interact you know, with the coaching staff, um, you know, GM, head coach, you know, meet the trainers, the strength staff, you know, even some of the players were kind of chilling, hanging out. It was it was really nice, you know, and be able to you know have that interaction and you get to know them, they get to know you. Obviously, a big part of it is doing the medical stuff and them checking you out, making sure you're all good. So that's that's basically the whole reason why you're there. Um, as at the combine, that's uh, a lot of what they do. But it was it was awesome. I mean, um, five teams is I, I guess a pretty good amount, is from what I heard. But I mean, I'm not going to deny um, a team. So I mean, whatever opportunity I can get, I'll take it. But uh, but yeah, it, it was a, it was a cool experience. Who, who's the coolest person you've met so far during this process? Was it somebody like a Bill Belichick or was there a player or another coach or an owner or someone that, uh, made you did kind of go, wow, this is uh, pretty darn cool. Yeah. My man, Kellen. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, out of all the Boise state guys I've met, he is, he was the one I haven't met yet. And I finally did. So I can check him off the list. So, uh, it was good to chat with him a bit. Maybe we'll get the uh, – it used to be, you know, the Cowboys were the Boise State uh, kind of, you know, beat all the Boise State guys would go there. Maybe now we start that up with the Chargers there now that he's moved on. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got David Moe there too. So. Yep, yep. What's uh, – final couple things, and again, CraveDelivery.com. We're going to uh, talk about that in a second. But uh, what, what, are, what are you telling these teams when you're, when you're out there advocating for yourself or, or when a team says, okay, what are we getting in a Scott Matlock? Uh, what, what's your kind of sales pitch to these teams, why they should draft you? Yeah, I mean, obviously – they do their homework. They know what kind of player I am. They see the film. They saw the pro day. They saw it, everything. But you know, when they ask those questions, they want to kind of hear where your where your mentality is. Uh, but they don't want the politically correct answer. Um, um, they want to know who you're about, what you're about. So, I mean, I tell them that. I mean, I'm a warrior. I mean, at the end of the day, when that helmet comes on, it's it's a gladiator going into the coliseum. You know, I mean, I'm there to. I'm there to take souls. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to take a grown man's job. So um, you kind of got to have that mentality to to play this game. But, I mean, that's the, that's what they want to hear, and um, that's what you should be about anyway. So they don't want to hear, like, that political, I'm a hard worker, be on time kind of answer. But, um, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I just be myself. And, you know, obviously I'm going to say the right things, but, I mean, I'm not acting any different than I would normally would, which is a good thing. So, uh, but, yeah. So what's this weekend look like for you? I know obviously uh, the Thursday night, uh, the first round, you got second and third on Friday. Uh, I'm sure you'll be paying attention to that. But, uh, you know, most likely Saturday is going to probably be your, your day to hopefully hear your name called, uh, you would think. But uh, what what kind of your draft day plans with uh, friends, family, uh, whatever you got going on? Yeah, so, I mean, I, I have some, you know, some, some friends and family that I'm going to have, you know, over and kind of have a little get together and, Nothing too crazy, but, you know, something kind of small, low-key and uh, quaint. So, but, I mean, shout-out to Crave Delivery for um, kind of getting us some food, hooking us up, and um, really grateful for them, you know, having them be, you know, that local kind of community and a local restaurant who 
can support us and you know what a crazy and unique style of, of food i mean you can order i mean we got chicken and um sancho's you know mexican and we got pizza it's like oh you can you can get all these different places uh from one like platform so it's been um shout out to them for for helping me out through this process and you know i'm a big you know at, advocate of you know local companies and that obviously being an idaho guy so i'm always trying to to give back to the community that has given to me so shout out to them it's gonna be foot it's it's gonna be good um but other than that i mean have a little watch party got some other plans you know later in the evening but other than that yeah pretty small low key crave delivery.com yeah you don't have to go to like you don't have to like go order the pizza from the pizza joint and then go over to the taco joint or the slider place yeah, yeah you just go onto their app or their website it's all right there my family loves it because mm-hmm. uh, my wife's you know loves sushi and some of the other things that i don't mm-hmm. like so she'll get something and i'll order the barbecue option whatever and it's all delivered right mm-hmm. to you my kids love the the wings and stuff they have there and yeah i saw your i saw your order actually on uh, on alex guerrero's email here man you got quite the feast coming with the uh, mexican the sliders the pizza uh you're gonna be uh eating good on saturday i believe jl skinner also is having a watch party uh with with crave delivery as well you and you and jl are uh, both using crave delivery so crave delivery.com uh and uh yeah man it's gonna be awesome looking forward to it uh we may have to watch out you know on sixth street out downtown saturday night if you and jl all these guys get drafted it could be a fun night i guess out in downtown boise huh it could be uh we'll see i mean obviously we're gonna be smart and and handle our business but uh we'll we'll see it's 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 definitely about sharing that moment with your friends and family but um yeah we'll see it should be a good a good weekend for everybody involved well, what's your final thing? I guess what's your just your message to Bronco Nation and Boise State fans watching this? And, uh, and you, like I said, we, we, you just think about your your time in this community, in this town, in this city. And we've talked you know, all about your life journey to get here, but here you are about to be an NFL player uh, in a couple of days. And and I know that uh, the connection the city has with you and you with the fans has has been a big one. I know it's helped you uh, a lot. But uh, I guess just what's your when you think about this last fifteen minute interview uh, summed up into into one comment here? I guess what's just your your lasting thoughts on uh, Boise State and this program and the fact that you're about to be an NFL player here. Yeah, I mean, I I can't say thank you enough to Bronco Nation and everything that they have given me and also all the support and love and 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 cheers and and everything. You know, I've always I always tell people that my, my that my roots are are very deep here. Um, Idaho and and Boise will always be my home, no matter where I go, and I'm proud to be an ambassador for the city of Boise in the state of Idaho. And I always will be. So, um, there, there, there's nothing I wouldn't do, uh, for this community. And I know that there's nothing that they wouldn't do for me. So it's a very, very special place. I'm very grateful to be a part of it. Um, this is my home and it forever will be. It's been a long, long journey. And, uh, I enjoyed my time, um, helping the Broncos win some football games, uh, for sure. And I'm excited to see what they can do in the future. But, um, to Bronco Nation, all the fans, I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for everything you did, and uh, as always, go Broncos. Well, like I said, Scott, in the media, we're not we're supposed to be neutral and stuff. But you're always an easy one to root for, and happy to see you doing well, man. And happy happy for this weekend. It's going to be fun to uh, follow your journey as you move on to the NFL here next week. And again, CraveDelivery.com. They're partnering with NFL Draft prospects Jail Skinner and Scott Matlock to provide their NFL Draft viewing uh, parties with great selection, different cuisines. You can do the same thing as them. CraveDelivery.com. Download the app; it's easy to use as well. And we appreciate them for helping uh, make this interview happen today. So, Scott, maybe we'll uh, try to catch up with you Saturday after you get picked if we can for a much quicker interview, but a bite or two on on getting picked. And, and uh, we're, we're going to be rooting for you and excited for you, man. Congratulations to you and your family and friends. And it's, enjoy it, man. It only happens once, obviously. So thanks so much, and we'll be in touch, man. Yeah, thank you so much, man. appreciate that. There he is, Scott Matlock. You'll find out where he's going this weekend. We appreciate him for coming on. And, again, check out CraveDelivery.com. Plenty more draft coverage. Stay tuned. Bronco Nation News, BroncoNationNews.com.